everybody doing back and today we're going to be talking about Fear the Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 6 Sea Cut Service. That might be the name. I think I might have pronounced it wrong. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't care. Um, this episode, man, this show, this show has been getting progressively better, but this episode had a lot in it. Uh, we start out, we get the scene at the church where the priest accidentally or purposefully murders everyone in the church by giving them those uh, cracker things. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Um, he gives them those things and uh, they wind up being poisoned by the lady we find at the midpoint of the episode. Don't remember her name. It's it's like um, Cel Celia maybe. Um, so I don't know if the, the priest intentionally did it or if he was poisoned himself because he also ate when he also died. But when they all died, they must have turned into zombies and wound up bidding Thomas Abigail, uh, eventually killing him in this episode. Meanwhile, Strand and the crew are coming to Baja. They run into some trouble with the military, or, or whatever they call them, and, um, what's his name? The, the dude who Nick found when he went on shore a couple episodes ago, he went on shore, the dude with the sniper rifle, uh, that guy winds up dying, um, sadly, I, I was hoping to like him a lot. He seemed like he, he had potential to be a really good character. Um, so he's dead. Um, uh, from there, they get to Baja. It, well, on the way to Baja, they run into some trouble with all the walkers outside the chapel. Madison is taken down by one, nearly killed. Chris didn't help. Alicia saw that he was just watching her die. Um, so Alicia stepped up and, and helped Madison. This goes back to the very beginning of the episode when we saw, not the very beginning when we saw the church, but the very beginning when we saw our crew, when Chris found out that Madison, um, told him that she believed him about the, about him killing Jesse McCartney because he thought he was sick, but then we find out that, and Chris finds out also that Madison lied to him and she doesn't believe him at all. So he's all mad about that, and apparently he was going to let her die. Um, so now there's some ang anger there, some tension there. Um, so our crew gets to Baja. They wind up in this uh, community. If you've watched Walking Dead, you know at some point there's going to be... They're, they're going to have to leave. It's going to get overrun some way or another. There's going to be an explosion slash fire. Think about it. Herschel's farm burnt prison exploded, uh, Alexandria, they shot a rocket and blew up the lake, there's always an explosion involved, um, so, from here, uh, Nick and the dude who died on the boat's mother are buddies, um, I'm not liking what they're doing with Daniel, first off, Daniel looks so weird in street clothes, in my opinion, he looks really weird, um, and then, uh, so he's just running around, he's, he's kind of delusional, um, he's, he, he's sitting there all alone in his room, not eating, walking around in the middle of just the, the town, he comes across this kid who puts a, a puppy into a trash chute, shoots it down the trash chute, it winds up in a wine cellar where, um, a group of walkers that they're keeping, just like at Herschel's farm, uh, family members that have died that they're keeping are torn apart, um, or the puppies torn apart because they're all walkers. Um, so Daniel goes, confronts the little kid, the little kid shows him all the walkers. Uh, what else is going on? Ophelia and Nick are out looking at some sort of owl statue. Ophelia's like, kind of praying, talking to her dead mother through the spiritual, spirit world, something like that. Meanwhile, Nick is having, like, hallucinations, flashbacks back to the first episode when he was in the church with Gloria the Walker and all that stuff, all that bad stuff. Um, then, uh, Strand and Thomas meet up together. They're all sad together, um... Thomas dies, Strand shoots him in the head, making it so that he couldn't be put into the cellar, he's going to bury him. He didn't commit suicide, which he told him he would, so now we've seen the sneak peek for next episode, there's going to be some tension there. Um, 
Madison and Travis are having arguments because uh, Madison found out what Chris did because Alicia told her. And so there, so Travis and Chris stay in a room together and Madison and Alicia stay in a room together because Alicia's afraid for her life. At the very end of the episode, uh, Chris goes Shane. Chris turns into Shane. I know there's everyone saying, Chris, you went Shane. Don't go full Shane. Yeah, he, he went full Shane this episode. He was going to kill uh, Madison and Alicia just because he was mad at the two of them. So he walked into their room when they were sleeping. He pulled out the knife. He was going to kill them. Um, and then Madison wakes up because they hear the gunshot. Chris is all just standing there with the knife. And then he just takes it off. He runs out the door. Um, and that's where we're left off at the episode. So, yeah, I do think this is kind of a better Angels type situation. I would have expected that he died at the end of this episode. Um, I, I, was, I thought it was going to happen the whole time. I thought Alicia was going to have to kill him. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait till next episode, and I guess that's my kind of death prediction, is that next episode, Chris will die. Uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe Alicia won't kill him, because here's what I think. It would be really ironically hilarious if Trava had to, tr Trava, Travis had to kill him, <laughs> because then he would have had to kill both members of his original family, and he would have killed them two separate season finales in a row, so I think that would be um, pretty funny. Actually, this is the mid-season finale, so, huh, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, also, when is the show returning? I have no idea when the show is returning, so whenever it returns, I'll put out more reviews then. Um, I guess that's really all I had to say about this episode. Good episode. Um, thank you all for watching. Demon.